travelers from all over the country will now be heading north, south, east and west to meet at this beautiful Cumbrian town. This is where it all starts. First job is to get your horses all scrubbed down and clean looking for a customer. These horses have all been well handled as you can see. Most people have the hands full with one. This lad's got four. But we'll soon have them all scrubbed up ready for on them tops when we've got a customer. Till the crowds are there enjoying it. And that's what it's all about. If you can come away for the week and enjoy a week's holiday, you'll be here again next year. And most of these, by far a bit of ill fate, will definitely be there next year. This river's called the River Eden. It runs through the middle of Cumbria, right down to the sea. So by the time them fairy liquids has got down there, I think they'll be well and truly diluted. But having horses in water like this is good for horses' feet really good fun. It makes them, cleans them out really well. This is where the river drops away. This is where, over the years, several people have drowned in this deep area. This horse here just uh, having a bit of problem getting up, but it'll get up. And this is the famous bridge. This is where people stand and watch these lads perform all day long when weather's permitting. And these young lads enjoy it. Their dads will have done it before them. The granddads will have done it before them. But a lot of these were travelled up by horse boxes and that. In years gone by, they all came by a wagon. And so we've got one loose. This lad will catch this. If we don't get it first attempt, he'll get it second. That's his pal, he's going to give him hand to catch it. He's got it. Get it back to its side now. You don't pull him off. That'll be his pal helping him. Other than fair week, not a lot happens in Appleby, but two or three times a year do they have the trots. Most of the lads that will be trotting will be local farm lads, lads from away. A lot of these country villages going from Wales into Scotland all have their own trotting events every year. It's becoming more and more popular. The handicapper will know the handicap, will know what they're off. Some will be off scratch. Some will be off 20, some will be off 40. Some could even be off 60, 80 and 100, depending on how good their trotter is. Some of these horses will travel quite a distance and have been in the boxes for several hours. 
So we're just warming them up prior to racing. These two are just coming round to the start, ready for the off. The history of trotting horses, which is very popular in America, goes back to gentlemen trotting their horses on a Sunday morning for wages and bets. The Norfolk Trotter was one of the famous horses, so was the Morgan in America, and the Acne horses. There has been horses that have done 20 mile in the hour, but the speed that we do in this country cannot be matched to them in America. And here we are, the gates in front of them, ready for them to be away. As you can see, some of the horses handicapped a little bit. He's waiting for a break so they can get in on the corners or on the bends. Any which way, but choose which way you look at it, it's a lot of fun. And they like a lot of trotting in Ireland, but other than trotting, the lads like to road race them as well which is not uh, appreciated by the local police, but it still goes on a lot. And several motorways have been blocked off in times gone by for horses to race. The idea of a trotting horse is to make it trot and the judges and stewards to watch that it doesn't break. If it does break, he has to get it back onto its legs. And this can cost him points if uh, he can be penalised if he doesn't get his horse back onto its legs. But on road racing, it's just the fastest horse wins. Everything, yeah. yeah. So you're going to do a bit of duckering and that, are you? Yes, I think so. Yeah. So, have I many good lines in me hand? Hard working lines, I suppose. I don't know. I, I see great wealth for you. Oh, you should have there you <laughs> <laughs> So, where's your horses from here? He's got them just down the lane. Well, he's got his grey one that he pulled the wagon with. Oh yeah. And then he's got some more. Yeah. He's got more. Anyway, look, so you've got some more company coming up the road. I think I'd better leave you. Anyway, yeah, I'll see you later. Nice to oh, see you. Right, nice to meet you okay. again. Bye. I'm off my big dick for months in. Oh, is it? So this is your off, Tommy, being told. I've got another one over there and two over the back. Oh, that's funny, that, Tommy. Yeah. yeah. Four year olds. Been out. Put the black one off. So, so how long have you had this? A month. No. Happy with it. Just pull the wagon when you know. Just drop it in. Yep. Yep. Ah. Yep. Yep. Far they've come, but there's a plenty of them coming. Seems to get more and more popular travelling tapple being a boat top than it was possibly 15 years ago. 
Because there's a lot of people that's no longer travellers or not even travellers that uh, tend to spend the winter months restoring these vehicles and building them and this is the annual uh, week's holiday but actually it'll be two weeks because sometimes three weeks we'll set off a week before to come long distances stop on road verges and graze the horses uh, I would imagine most of these are actually not traveller bred but uh, they'll all enjoy the week's holiday weather permitting Travelling up and down, splitting the rain on the hill. They're travelling with the horses in the camper. Now, watching you back there is quite treacherous on this bit, isn't it? Yeah, but the horses get... It is bad, it's, it's a main trunk road, but the horses get used to it. They get used to the wagons and the bushel. They settle down, go about the jobs. So how many years have you been coming then? I've come all my life and I'm 49. I've come all my life and I've come all my life with the horses near enough. I miss the odd year. I can imagine that you can remember coming here when there was hardly any traffic on the road at all. I can, but it was very quiet. Where we stopped now is right near where used to be Gruff Hill Fair. But Gruff Hill Fair has nearly died out. But Apple will never die. Everybody has to improvise, whether it be umbrellas, wellingtons or whatever. The sensibleest lad on there is one that stood up back. He's not getting his feet wet. And somebody else not getting theirs wet either. And it's just a fair machine to be going through uh, mud baths with. But there's all sorts of things up there. And this is a load of horses that's got loose. Horses are a dirty animal and will stick together. And once they start running, there's no man living can run and catch one, so I was always told walk away and leave until they settle then try and catch them. The more you chase them, the more they'll run. And it looks as like if these are getting chased, it looks as like they're running as well. And there's some good fit young lads there though to try and catch them. And here we are on picket lines. I think the best trade in Appleby this year will be umbrellas and Wellington boats. Now they're sensible, they're not walking in mud. 
who's down the steady jaw on tap. Possibly it could be for sale. But here we are back to horses again. They haven't had a lot of luck catching this lot. So nobody wants to be buying them while they're running loose. All look young things as well. But the more they chase them, the more they'll run anyhow. You know, as well left alone. But only time will tell. They disappear back into the wood again. For a second time. And I don't think anybody's really bothered this time about him coming back. And still traffic keeps building up. In years gone by, there won't be traffic for all the people that there is today that comes to the fair. This is a nice suet. Plenty of feather, plenty of nice bone. Takes him down every set of shoes on. Looks if it belongs to Kevin Gaskin, he's holding it. See, every idea of a travelling man's horse, he wants to step like an acne, head like a Welsh cob, feather like a shire, but to breed them like that takes some doing. Like a nice heavy shoe on them to make them pick the feet up. These farriers haven't got best job this week because they are keeping a bit warm with weather. But, uh, just going to drop it on now. This is old Paddy, he's been coming to the fair for a lot of years, more than he cares to remember. You'll always find him parked at the same spot every year, always keep him busy. Good week for the farriers, it's Apple, but now they're selling a few quid. Not a lot of taxmen about either. Not a bad set of shoes, then. Bit of weight about them. I'll just pick the feet up a bit better. But today, trying to get it to be a farrier is like trying to get through the gates of heaven before you've died. A very difficult job today. It's not like it used to be. You've got to be educated and one thing or another, which possibly isn't the best way, but that's what the farrier's guild says it's got to be, so it's got to be. And here we are back to the herd of horses that still have not been caught. Either all young lads in public house or they're not fast enough, but they'll keep running. There's no man living can outrun a horse, so might as well just leave them alone. But I suppose they'll catch them a four weeks out. They'll possibly not sell many. But he don't look uh, as if he's very interested in catching it. And here they are, sun shining, that's making a change. All these horses looking for a customer. I don't think there's a lot of trade here today. Foals, geldings, mares, flea bittens, round. You name it, it's on Appleby. It looks as if they possibly have caught two of them horses, so herd's getting smaller. I've got that harness off me now, I'm going to enjoy this. And it is enjoying it as well. Yeah. 
He wants to think so much as big as that could roll as easy as that. He knows how far to pull that chain. Now here we are back up on the top, everybody looking for a bargain. Leave it trotted. Give him a flash. Most of these lads have been born riding horses. Know them all the lives. This is Billy Buck giving his Dale's ass a flash. Here the local council have provided a good uh, tethering estate for a few horses. Nothing's wasted up on Appleby, everything's utilised. And this little four things, what's all this lot about? Where have we come to? But it'll either be sold or go back where it came from, end up week. And here we are on the busiest days of the fair. There'll be thousands and thousands of people rolling into Appleby. As you can see, they're nearly queuing to get in, some coming in, some coming out. Thousands of people on top. Horses, dogs, people. It shows how placid most of these coloured horses are when there's all these people milling about and they don't get kicked.
at some point we were looking, some lad selling a few beads and a bit of gold, earrings, yeah, yeah, yeah. everything for it. All the young lasses will be wanting to buy something, so when they go to the pub tonight, they look the best. Whether, the, whether it's value for money or not, it's up to them to how they spend the money. Every, some, some for everybody on Apple, but that's for sure. And these lads have got a good selection here. Mm, well, that's some trade. That's a nice horse's head. I'm departing with a few quid. We must be happy and satisfied. Get it off with old man when she gets back to the caravan tonight. These lads are fit young lads, these are. There's no rider pony. I've not seen a lot of trade yet. Still a good few people knocking about. These lads have got these ponies flying. And you've got to give everybody a lift. Like a Welsh cob type. I don't think they're racing for any money. Possibly are though. You got that horse out at road uh, smart enough. It's just not as wet as what it can be. And this is a stallion off on his metal. He knows how long that chain is. He ain't going nowhere. He's seen some of the defences. I've been coming up to Appleby for over 30 years and not much changes. Still, the bobbies try and calm it, but they'll not stop it. They flash up and down this lane, and I think if you come back in 100 years' time, they'll still be doing it. It gets more and more popular every year. Speaking to you to bend the ball, the bloody world keep going back. These people think they've got brains, you silly dull side people. It costs you more in a penny than the bloody shoe leather you wore out walking backwards and forwards. It was cheaper to stand your ground. Have a look at the size of my audience. Have a look at the size of my collection. Enough money to last me for the rest of my life, providing I drop dead now. I asked for a piece of silver. Have any of you ever seen brown silver before? There's only one convenience for the penny in England today, and that's the public convenience. So I pray to God, every man who put a penny in that hat gets bloody diarrhea tonight 
and he hasn't got one. And he's talking now, think. Here's a man that's world famous for being an Appleby, Johnny Eadle. If you've been going to Appleby all your life, you could be 40 years old, you'll have seen him performing every year. Very hard man in his younger days, still hard man now. Performed outside Tower of London for many a year. Likes to crack and likes to drink. Johnny Eadle's well into his 70s, at most people at his age, in old folks are more buried. But he's still got to keep getting his beer money, so he's got to keep working. He enjoys every minute on it, he enjoys spending it, he enjoys earning it. So why take pleasure away from an old man? That forearm of Johnny Eadle's will be as hard as that anvil that we've just seen that blacksmith show that awesome. If you'd a pound for every time he's hit that forearm, you'd be a multi-millionaire, it'd be better than winning lottery. It'd help you spend it anyhow, to buy him a few drinks. And these are good days, Tekkins. They'll have that all reckoned up how many jars is in that go end at night's heart. What do you think makes Appleby Fair so special then, Johnny? Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> these lads have all come a long way. And there won't be 20 men on here who doesn't know me, because I've worked everywhere. And you see, it's really been a meeting table, a place for proper Romanies for nearly 400 years. Now I'm going to have a ride up back of Sulky and get a bird's eye view of what it's all about. There's possibly a full bred trotter, half bred trotter. You'll watch his ears moving, listen to commands from the driver. You've got to have your wits about you as well because you don't know if anybody's going to jump out in front of you and you need to be pulling brakes on or anchors, as lads call it. And you could soon have an horse on the floor and there's a few of these horses finish up at Naki Yard up on Appleby Tops every year. If an horse gets injured, the horse ambulance stood by and you ready to sort it all out. But when you're travelling at these speeds with all these crowds as big as what they are, you've got to be very, very careful. If horses come in towards you, horses at back here, and tens of thousands of people not knowing what they're going to do. So you've got to be alert and have your wits about you when you're driving horses up there.
Well, these are some good old-fashioned sorts here. Nice ball, it. Look at this Kevin driving again. This looks as if there's some type of dealing going on here. Or possibly a tossing school. Tossing school. Every village in England had one one time a day. It's totally illegal. But lads like it. It's a bit of gambling for them. As long as they don't get falling out and nobody gets hurt, it makes no difference. But it's a bit of a professional job tossing them. And there's a lot of money changes hands. You just watch this lad, he'll, he'll be trying to add him or whatever. Some lad's wages will be on the job. Looks if a good bit of money's been took. So they'll be ready for off. There he goes. Ready. Up we go. And where they land, nobody knows. Well, here they are. We've paid out on the bets now, and here they go again. Well, you can see the police just stand by and take no notice. Got to be a rum old job trying to arrest all them up there. And this is where you need a 4 before 4 wheel push chair. And some Wellingtons with diff locks on. It's now getting a little bit churned up. But they're still here in the thousands. These have come prepared, these with the Wellingtons on. Just looks like a guy scream. Who's in? There's only one in. I'll do it again, I'll do it again, I'll do it again. Those you lose, 
They're like my wife. They're two blanks. You must find the Queen, my Queen Julianne. The 120, 40, 60, 80, 100. That I won't be caught my lift about a train. Now, plenty of boat line here. For 120, 40, 60, 80, 100. No point to tell. Let me tell your daddy how to make babies. Now, so here's a good way to make a living. Table, three cards, and some good mates. And punters haven't got a chance. That Find the lady. Oh, yeah. Does, Does that cease to amaze you? Excuse me. Excuse me. No, no, never stand at the back door. Excuse he's me. not going to wear that one. No, no he's not going to have it today. Bill Plod on it. End at the hill. I've heard he's sent a few quid. Come on now, let's come back when you have a beard like a mountain goat. Come on, you're all too young to be gambling. Petra can't hear at all times. For 120, 40, 60, 80, 100. And I want to cut the those you lose, that's the prize. You must find the queen. Now leave it to me on, Jim. Who's in? Turn it over yourself for 20. Here, the last 20 I have. Turn it over and have a drink on me. Turn it over for a score and have a drink on me. Turn it over for the sake of money down. Money down. Uh, you can't put your hand underneath the wife's coat before you marry her. Who's in? Who's in? Come on now, kids. You're all too young to be gambling. Come on. Your dad comes up on my Who's in for 20 or 40 quid? I'm not a very good player. But I'm what to call fair, fair, fair. What's going to show you how the game is played? Look, those you lose, that's the price. They're like my wife, they're two blanks. You must find the queen, my queen, oh. Julianne. For 120 or 40 quid, that's all I'll do with them. I'll go right in the middle. I'll do it. It's only 10. Five. You won't get kissed off a girl for 10 pounds. Where are that, Philip? For 20. For 20. No, those you lose. See, they're like my blanks. No, 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 no. But one, two, no. Oh, the you, I'm sorry if you lose. Thank you. Mm -hmm. out. There's no, don't point and tell that. Every time you point and tell, you cost us me money. This is a beautiful example of a wagon, this. Possibly one of the best up on Appleby. Possibly one of the best in the country. If you were to count the amount of man hours that's gone into restoring that and preserving it, It'll be ten to one done in gold leaf. But that is a beautiful vehicle. Most likely been brought up to Appleby on a low loader. But if you look at the workmanship and the carving that's gone into this vehicle, it's unbelievable. Some of the best carriage painters that there's been in the country are from down the Doncaster area. Old Jimmy Berry, Tommy Gaskin, etc. We've all painted these beautiful carriages in years gone by. That they've all they passed away now. I don't actually know who painted this one, but it'll tend to one not be for sale. It'll just be brought up here for show. But the man that can owns it will be a very proud man because it is a very beautiful vehicle. It'll tend to one not be used today, but in years gone by, families, possibly 10, 15 kids, would have been brought up in one of these. That is a beautiful example of a vehicle. A lot of these have been burnt and scrapped and just rotted away. Nobody ever thought that they'd be needed and be the value that they are today. Here we are back down at the river. A bit better weather. A few more lads flashing horses. Possibly everybody's in the pub. And here's the famous fairy liquid that the environmentalists are born in and growing in the map. But it's only once a year anyhow, so... But he needs to get all that so part of them feathers because it's not good for them. And they're all manicuring and getting things ready. A little water on the backs. And they look all the better for it when they get up tops. Maybe for that customer. I don't know which is doing the best, is the owner or the horses here. It definitely looks a bit like a bit of fish and chips and a bit of steak and a few pints of beer, but good luck to it, lad. We're just getting them down into the river here. Or they're going to put them into the river one or two. And that's a lovely sight on the bridge to see all these people stood watching. I think some of them come, a lot of them come from abroad as well, not just England.
in Scotland that they come from all over the world to Appleby. Because, I mean, the original travellers came out of Asia when they first come across Europe. They were settled in this country. You've got to bear in mind that this water is freezing cold. Even in Aussie day here, these rivers are cold. But these lads don't mind it. The young, that's the main thing. Even a little falls in on active things. If my mum's going to be there, I'm going to be here. Mm. That mare's got a walleye. Some people don't like walleyes. Some people don't mind them. So, and that, he's going to have his cinnamon bath after he's done his horse. I thought it had been too cold for swimming in there today. Oh, that's lovely. Do her socks, boot her, There's plenty of smiles now when they were pulling on. They look more like a funeral than a fair. But anyhow, they've all cheered up. Had a few bevies down them and had a bit of a deal. And I'd have made a few quid, I lost a few quid, one at two. So what is it, special formula or is it just fairy liquid? Fairy liquid, Abbey Shopper. <laughs> come on then, what is it makes Appleby so special for you? Earn of money. Sell the horses. We don't look a bad tick, don't that? It's uh, good old fashioned suet. Plenty of bone, plenty of feather. Nice head on it tail put it right in place and one that does make a lot of profit is fairly liquid manufacturers end up wheat I bet Appleby stocks more fairly liquid in long wheat than they do all the rest of the year this is a good advert for Appleby if you've never been to Appleby first week in June every year you want to book your holidays get up to Appleby because generation after generation have travelled to Appleby whether it's be Ostron vehicle Mercedes cars, Rolls Royce, roll vans. And don't forget to bring your camera. And this is next generation. <laughs> In ten years' time, they'll be grown up and apple me.